good morning all today we are going to see about properties of laser the outcome of this topic or this section after completion of the section the students able to understood the properties of laser the main properties of laser first one is monochromaticity coherence divergence and directionality First, let us see about the monochromaticity. This property is due to the following two factors. First one, EM wave of frequency can be amplified set in range which is called line width. This line width is decided by the homogeneous broadening factors and the inhomogeneous broadening factors. The result line which is very small compared with normal lines. The second laser cavity forms a resonance system. Oscillation can be occur only resonance frequency of the cavity. This leads to the further narrowing of laser line width. The narrowing can be large as 10 orders of magnitude. So, laser light is usually very pure, pure in wavelength. We say it has high property of monochromaticity. Next one is coherence. For EM wave, there are two kinds of coherence, namely spatial and temporal coherence. Let's consider two points at time t equal to zero lie on the same way front of some given EM wave. The phase difference of EM wave at the two points at t equal to zero is k equal to zero. If any time t equal to 0, the phase difference EM wave at the two points remain k0. We say the EM wave has perfect coherence between two points. Now we consider a fixed point of EM wave front if at any time the phase difference time t and t plus dt remains same. Where dt is the time delay period, we say that EM wave has temporal coherence over a time dt. If dt can be any value, we say EM wave has perfect temporal coherence. For any EM wave, there is a two kinds of coherence, namely spatial and temporal coherence. Let us consider two points that at t equal to 0 lie on the same wave from the same given F EM wave. The phase difference of EM wave at two points at t equal to 0. If any time t greater than 0, the phase difference EM wave at two points remains k equal to 0. We say EM wave has perfect coherence between two points. Last one is divergence and directionality. The laser beam is highly directional which is implies laser light of very small divergence. This is direct consequence of fact the laser beam comes from the resonance cavity and only waves propagating along the optical axis can be sustained in the cavity. The directionality described by the light beam divergence angle. For perfect spatial coherence light, a beam of aperture diameter D will have unavoidable diver divergence. So, the QD equal to the directionally is described by the light beam of divergence angle. For perfect spatial coherent light, a beam of aperture diameter D will have unavoidable divergence because of diffractions. So, thank you.
from the refractive theory the divergence angle qd is qd equal to b l by d where l and d are the wavelength and diameter of b respectively b is the coefficient whose values around unity and depends on the type of light amplitude distribution and the definition of beam of light. diameter thank you